Good morning students. As you all, all know that we have already done a hundred dresses part one. So we continue with the hundred dresses part two. Before continuing, let's take a brief about the author. The author is Elena Ellis, who was from United States. She had won the John Newberry Medal. and she had passed her schooling from the pratt institute now let's first introduce ourselves in the first lesson we had already talked about 100 dresses where we know that peri and meggy are two girls who used to keep on teasing wanda for her name so because of this Wanda's father decided to move to the big city where he said that no one is going to tease anyone for the unfamiliar names on this meddy and peggy really got anxious and they realized their mistakes and they wanted to ask sorry now the main key points first that miss mason had announced that wanda had won the drawing contest a contest was organized for the girls and the boys both the boys had to make motor boats while the girls had to design dresses and wanda had designed 100 dresses and 60 pairs of shoes so that is why she had won the for contest it was put all over in the class wall and also on in the other classes and everyone appreciated her drawings then miss mason also read out the letter which her father had sent in which her father had mentioned that they are going to move to another city as there no one is going to tease their daughter wanda as she was teased here when meddy and peggy heard about it they were really feeling very sorry about it that why had they not why had they teased her then they decided that they should go to wanda's house in bogenside and inform her about the contest that she had won the contest peggy and meddy both of them went to bogenside but when they went to bogenside they realized that wanda had already left with her family she gifted the dresses to wanda and peggy Wow, Meddy and Peggy, both of them, wrote a letter to Wanda, and Wanda replied by saying that let everyone have the special gift, and because now she has a hundred dresses in her own new one house. So let's do the summary. As I told you, Miss Mason informed about the letter. when they came to or know about the letter meddy and peggy were really very sad about it then meddy and peggy went to bogenside but they did not find wanda there then they wrote a letter to wanda and they waited for the reply but no reply came then during christmas time the reply came that she had sent a gift to for meddy and peggy she was no longer angry with meddy or peggy she loved them she had said that let these 100 dresses paintings be distributed among the girls and she had mentioned two dresses which had specially been made for meddy and peggy and those should be given to her them when mrs mason told them about this t 
tears came in Mary's eyes. And when she carefully looked at the dresses, she saw that their face and head was made identically, it was exactly like Mary and it was like exactly like Peggy. They were really very happy, of course they had felt guilty also about it. So this, through this chapter, I would like to also tell you about the importance of values, that we should not hurt anyone's feeling by teasing anyone. We should not discriminate anyone on any race, creed or caste. Further on, there are meanings of the difficult words and also there are phrases of the colors which show feelings, moods and emotions. So, we have come to the end of our chapter. I will soon send you some question answers and of course some phrases where I would like you to make sentences where the meanings I have given. Okay, thank you.